What's up guys, today I'm going to go through this AI animation effect using a technique that Malik used. I will leave his video linked in the description. So this effect is basically going to be using AI to alter the original video just using a few keywords and it's pretty amazing what it can do. So in this video, I'm going to go through and show you how you can do that. So here is my raw video clip that I want to add in some AI images. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some markers on the video clip where I want to add these AI images. So pressing M on my keyboard, I'm going to add a marker there and also a marker there. And then I'm going to press R on my keyboard and just select the range between the two markers and go up to the export button up here and go to export image sequence. If you don't have this, then click add destination, add destination and click on image sequence and just drag that into the destinations on the left here. So once you've done that, go back up to the export button and just click on the export image sequence. Go to settings and just want JPEG image. Click next. Just save that as whatever you want to call it. Click save. So here I have the saved folder and it's just created each frame as a JPEG image, which we can use to upload to the AI software and change these images. So now I'm going to go to this DALI website. I'll leave the link to it in the description. This is what we're going to use to add AI to change the image. So I'm going to go on upload an image, go to the folder that I just saved the frames and I'm going to click on the first frame and click upload. And then I'm going to click on skip cropping and you want to make sure you skip the crop. This way, once the image is saved, we can just drag it onto our video timeline and we won't have to do any editing. So now you want to click this little tick button here and then drag the generation frame over the part of the image that you want to edit or change. So I want to change the statue right here. And then I'm going to go down to the eraser and just click on the eraser and get rid of click and hold and just erase out the part of the image that I want to change. And it should have this checkered box where you've erased out the image. And then I'm going to go to the text box up here and just type in statue holding a sword and this software will use these words to come up with an image and blend it into the original image. So I'm going to click generate. So once it's generated the images, it gives you an option of four different images that it's created. And it's actually amazing how it comes up with this and blends it into the image so well. So I'm going to use this one and then click accept. And then I'm going to go to this button up here and just click that. And that's going to save that into my downloads folder. For this effect, I repeated this same step for 14 different frames. The more frames you do, the better it's going to look. So if I was going to do another frame, what I would do is click back on this and then upload the second frame. Skip cropping. Click the tick bu button, drag this over here. Click the erase button, get rid of the part that I want to change, add in the text and click generate. <laughs> He's got the ax on his head. That's pretty funny. Click accept and then click the button up here and that will save it in the downloads folder. So yeah, I repeated this step about 14 times for this effect on this particular video clip. So once you've done your frames and change the image and then save them, Let's go back into Final Cut Pro and add them onto the video clip. So now what I'm going to do is drag my images back into Final Cut Pro into a new event. And then I'm going to select all of the images and drag those into Final Cut Pro. And then make sure all of the images, all of the freeze frames are selected. And I'm going to go up to modify and go to change duration. And then I'm just going to press one on the keyboard. So the one should show up here and then click enter. So this will change all of the frames to one. And then I'm just going to drag the frames over my video clip where I added the markers. So now we have the images laid over the video. And if I play that back, we get the effect of the AI images mixed with the original video clip. And this effect happens really quickly. 
It looks really cool, but it happens really quickly. So if you wanted to slow it down and make it look a lot smoother, what you could do is select the whole video clip and go to the export button, click continue and go to export settings and click mastering video and audio source Apple ProRes. And I'm just going to render this out as a whole video clip. And then I'm going to drag the saved video clip into my timeline at the part where the animation happens. What I'm going to do is press R on my keyboard and range select the part with the animation and then go to the speed wheel and go to slow 50%. And then also go back to the speed wheel and go down to video quality optical flow. So this will render out and once it's rendered, it will slow down the animation and smooth it and smooth it out using the optical flow. So it gives this cool effect of like the morphing images. You can also slow that down even more by dragging the tabs. It will slow it down even more and it will give this really cool morphing effect. I also added some of the normal effects I would type lapses, motion blur, color grading, all of that stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much the effect. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.